This is Lucy. I'm Suzanne Ridgeway and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to make a delicious French onion pork chop in my crock pot. It's going to be a one pot meal. We're going to cook our potatoes in it as well. So dinner is done and I can keep my hands free all day. I have a very busy day with a lot to do between my channel and keeping my home clean and projects I've got going on. I like to use the crock pot so I can do other things. Before we get cooking, don't forget to look for that subscribe word and smash on it. Don't forget to tap on that bell, drop the ledger down to personalize it to your preference so you don't miss any of the content that I upload, and give this video a big thumbs up. We're going to make crock pot pork chops today. Husband just washed the crock pot. Now be very careful when you go ahead and preheat because this gets hot easily. Now I'm going to prep the pork chops. First thing I'm going to do is prep this for storage in my fridge. I always cut the end off. I'm going to take four stalks and some of the leafy ones. Then I'm going to rinse and wrap in paper towels, put back in the bag for storage. If you have little ones, you can put paint on that and they can make prints. It looks like roses. My kids used to do that when they were little. The prices are very expensive and this is the paper towel trick. I'm going to wrap it. Then put it back into the bag and it will stay fresh up to two weeks. Guaranteed. I've been doing this for years. And you can do the same thing with a head of lettuce. There's all kinds of ways that you can preserve your produce so you can save money. Now we're going to cut this about a half an inch thick. It's usually what I do. I have my sharpening stone just in case because I couldn't remember which knife needed sharpening. I picked that up at the Dollar Tree and I haven't seen them since. So if you see something that you're interested in at the Dollar Tree and you really like it a lot, grab it because it's a well-known fact next time it won't be there. And it may not be there for a long time. It took them a long time to get the little red rains back that catch food in my sink. We had lost one and I replaced it about two weeks ago. I like to have at least three to four vegetables with every meal. We don't buy apples, usually fresh. A lot of people like to have applesauce with their pork chops. And I have videos on homemade applesauce because we get our apples at the apple orchard in town here. And we go apple picking once a year. So you can see in the crock pot. First thing I'm going to do is dump in the celery. Give this a head start. Now we're going to peel and chop an onion. Pick out some potatoes to go right into the crock pot. And make this a one pot meal. I went ahead and peeled it. And cut it in half. I'm not going to dice it. Always keep an eye on your fingers when you're cutting. And we're going to use both onions because it's going to be like a French onion pork chop. I love anything French onion. I have fresh garlic that we're going to use today instead of my garlic from the Dollar Tree. 
I'm gonna make this really nice make dinner. Sure you can see in and take your onions and just dump them into the crock pot. I'm gonna season them with fresh garlic and black pepper and a little bit of salt. Let's go ahead and, and prep some garlic. I haven't worked with fresh garlic in a really long time. This was gifted to me recently. I'm really excited because garlic is not cheap. That's what I do to get the garlic pieces out. I'm going to put some fresh garlic right into the crock pot and then I'm going to infuse the pork chops with some of the fresh garlic by scoring them and stuffing it with the fresh garlic. That is about a teaspoon. I'm go ahead and dump the garlic right on in. And then we're gonna get the pork chops prepped. I have these two wonderful pork chops and I went ahead and I rinsed my knife and cutting board because you don't want to cross contaminate and I just put a slit down the side grabbing another knife just gonna cut a little bit of garlic Infuse them. We've done a lot of shake and bake. My team's not a big fan of the shake and bake, so we usually just put black pepper and salt on theirs. Not too much salt because pork is already salty. Just a pinch to make it flavorful. It's going to rest on the bed of onions and celery and a little well water, not too much, to cook the pork chops. And take your salt first. About a teaspoon. Then your black pepper. I'm going to put three teaspoons on mine and one on my kids. They're not a big fan of black pepper, which I find odd because all my food has black pepper in it, right down to breakfast. I'm going to go ahead and add a little more black pepper into the crock pot. Just another teaspoon of salt. I'm going to drop that pork chop in. Then we're going to prep the baked potatoes for the crock pot. Go ahead and drop them in the crock pot on the bed of vegetables and take your oil. A couple of tablespoons. All over the pork chops. Then we're going to add a little bit of water around the rim of the crock pot to work as a well to cook everything. And then we want to add a quarter cup of water around the rim of the crock pot. And then it's going to simmer all day and cook and be delicious. Now I'm going to wrap up some potatoes. I have these beautiful russets and I slit them and gave them a score both of them. And then I'm going to wrap them in foil and put them into the crock pot. It's always good to score your potatoes. I'm going to sit it right there next to each other with the pork chops. Now you're going to cover it 
Let it sit six to eight hours. Use your Make sure it's set to low. That was on high. And it's on low now. I always double check and make sure everything is plugged in. Here's what my pork chop looks on the plate. A nice buttery baked potato, French cut green beans, and French onion pork chops for dinner. And it smells so that good. That is it for this video. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today and cooking with me. Making this delicious French onion pork chop in the crock pot. Onions are going to caramelize in the crock pot all day and cook with the celery. The potatoes are going to cook completely with the pork. Now, always a thermometer check your meat to make sure it is accurate so nobody gets sick. And it's very important to practice food safety. Before we go, did you smash on that subscribe word? Don't forget to tap on that bell. Drop down the legend so you can personalize the to your preference so you won't miss any of my videos. And give this video a big thumbs up.